Good morning, grab your coffee. We got a big day and it's happening in about three hours. Bolin is actually green in pre-market right now. We're trading at 14.28. So I'm gonna show you something on the daily time frame. I know we've been talking a lot about the 45 minute, the one hour time frame lately, but the most important thing is we have a meeting today at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is literally in three hours and 20 minutes. So could this be a little rally up to the meeting and then we find out the results and that's what's gonna determine if this is a fake rally or if we're gonna push higher. Just be my own opinion, of course, it's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. You should always do your own research and do what you are feeling is best for you and your family. But let's look at this real quick. I will not be able to live stream the meeting today. It is at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, as you can see right here. Make sure you follow me on X. If for any reason I can live stream it or do something with it, it probably will be on X, not on YouTube. So make sure you get an X and you follow me at Business Dad with three S's. Again, I cannot live stream it on YouTube. I might be busy at this time, which sucks for today. Um, but if I if I find time that I can actually do it, it's gonna be on X, okay? And it's probably gonna be, I'll probably figure that out in the next couple hours. We still have over three hours until the meeting. But if you do want the link, the link is right here. I'll also put the link in the description on here so you can actually just go down and click the link and you'll get access to the shareholder meeting. I think you need your control number if you want to listen in. So make sure you have that. That would have been from when you voted. So if you voted, which hopefully everyone did, you'll have a control number and then you can access the meeting basically. But what do you guys think is gonna happen today? Let me know down below. Do you think this reverse stock split is gonna pass? Now get this, we have to be a dollar by Wednesday. Okay, so we have Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday we need to be a dollar. So what could happen is the reverse stock split passes today, but that doesn't mean they need to initiate it today. That doesn't even mean they need to initiate it Monday. Now, I think if it is passed, they're going to initiate it as soon as possible. Probably not today, but more like Monday. So we could have a little rally today and even Monday. And then once that news comes out, you know what's going to happen. So it all depends on how the vote goes. If it passes, it's going to be hell on earth. Okay, Over the next seven days, I would say it's not a good thing. If it doesn't pass, then we might just be stable and move around where we're at right now. So I updated Patreon members this morning, but I'm just gonna share this with you all. Also, of course, if you wanna support the channel, you can check out the links down below. You can join our Patreon and we have an awesome team in there where we all work together. But some things you wanna look at, daily time frame, stochastic right here, curling up, yellow arrow, RSI, daily time frame, about to pop above the yellow line, curling up, which means we can move higher. The RSI usually crashes once we hit 45 on Mullen recently. Um, it's happened twice, actually, probably actually more. And right now the RSI is around 34. So we have definitely room to move up. But the more important things are right here. This white trend line you want to be cautious of. Okay. We have a Fibonacci up here, which I have this zone 618786 level around 17 to 19 cents is a possibility. But also the other big indicator that you want to be watching is the volume block, right? So there's a volume indicator. And when we tend to get to a big block of volume, that's where heavy resistance is. Well, look at this big block of volume right here. It goes all the way out here. This is actually at the 618786 uh, level, which is around 17 and a half to 19 cents, okay? So again, this could be heavy resistance, but if for some reason we get a good vote today or some positivity, then I think this, once we break above this, our next big volume block is right up there at 28 cents. It's also the 1.618 level on a Fibonacci. So that's also a possibility, right? So these are the two positive possibilities. Just being my own opinion when looking at the charts and understanding all these indicators, the negative thing is we can move up, let's say, and we don't break this white trend line, and then we can just retrace and make new all-time lows. So that's why you wanna be cautious. I haven't bought in in heavy yet. I would probably wait till after the vote Okay, right now it looks like we have bottomed out temporarily at least at 11.50, 11 cents. So we have to wait and see.
Okay, this is kind of a gamble right now though. Because of all the indicators, I think we could run up to 17 to 19 cents, just be, just looking at how everything looks right now. But I think there will be heavy resistance there. And I think they'll start to get a bunch of buyers in. So for me, I'm just holding. I'm not buying anymore. I don't plan to buy at market open in 10 minutes. This is just my plan. Hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully you guys learned something about stochastic RSI. That's the whole goal of this channel. So you can bring this to other stocks and start winning. Drop a like, would always appreciate that. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I'm praying for all of us that we have a good day, especially with Mullen Automotive Company. Have a good one.